Our desire to understand is boundless. We reach out with our robots in the solar system, with astronomical instruments all across the universe, in the hopes of recording communications from alien civilizations. And as we do that, we operate under the assumption that we will be able to understand them. Is this the case? Can we prepare to understand aliens better? Could artificial intelligence and our desire to communicate with it become a training ground for the broader objective of talking to extraterrestrial technological civilizations. When all of humanity was composed of tribes roaming the savannas of Africa, each group, just a few dozen individuals, every encounter with another group was fraught with peril. Very often, as we judge from the fossil remnants, could end up in a violent confrontation. The grounds for mutual understanding were scant. On one hand, uh, the territory, uh, even though apparently unlimited, was scarce. Uh, the tribes uh, that met uh, would be actually competing for the resources of uh, these large territories they each controlled or wanted to control. And on the other hand, uh, there were a myriad of uh, languages uh, that uh, uh, were used and people just couldn't understand each other. This is very well uh, illustrated in Papua New Guinea, uh, where just from one valley to another, there are mutually unintelligible human languages spoken with thousands of languages on the island. Currently, the richest pool of language diversity uh, on the planet. So, Translating meaning and mutual understanding, or the lack of it, uh, were really uh, defining factors of whether uh, there could be a bridge for a common ground in trade and commerce, and then exchanging of cultures and uh, peaceful coexistence. It is the same today. In order to understand each other, in order to be able to coexist, we have to make a real constant effort. Even though uh, we have languages that uh, are now supposedly spanning the globe and communication uh, infrastructure that is going to support this desire to understand. The ambition of broadening and deepening our understanding of the universe encompasses the desire to first intercept, record, decode uh, communications from extraterrestrial technological civilizations, if they exist. And then, sooner or later, talk back to them depending on where they are, probably uh, outside of the solar system, maybe quite far, this communication could take many years. But regardless, we have to be able to understand the language. We have to be able un to understand both the basic structures as well as the more abstract structures that are encoded in the language. It is assumed 
even though not universally, that certain elements of language could be the same everywhere. Numbers, for example, it would appear almost impossible that the uh, supposed alien civilization wouldn't have the concepts uh, of uh, numbers the same we do, uh, both uh, countable numbers as well as uh, their operations. Stephen Wolfram, the creator of uh, Mathematica and now the Physics Project, uh, actually believes that this may not uh, necessarily be the case, that an alien technological civilization could uh, develop across a path uh, that is divergent from ours and their uh, mathematical and, as a consequence, scientific concepts uh, could not be immediately intelligible to us and vice versa. Now, before we get to the point where we are tasked with uh, understanding an extraterrestrial technological civilization's communications, of course, we could try to prepare. What could we do? Uh, if we are not in a position of modeling, imagining uh, with a sufficient degree of alienness this civilization, then we won't have uh, the basis to believe that the training that we are trying to do, the preparation we are trying to do, is itself sufficient. If you watch the episodes of uh, Star Trek or many other science fiction movies, with a few exceptions, uh, it will be uh, something that uh, either makes you mad or brings a smile on your face of uh, how the vast majority uh, of uh, the aliens are humanoid. Maybe they have a crest on their head or they have pointy ears, but uh, they have a head, they have two um, arms and two legs, and they speak English. Well, not very likely. The uh, degrees of difference uh, among the various uh, intelligent uh, species could be vast. And as a consequence, the, the, the way they communicate and the way they understand each other. But it turns out that we do indeed have an opportunity, a very important immediate need and the training ground to achieve this objective of communicating with aliens. And it is our current urgent objective of communicating with aliens artificial intelligences. As a matter of fact, the explainable AI project from the European Union, as well as other places that are pursuing a similar goal, does exactly this. The goal of the explainable AI project is the ability to understand how an AI reasons and makes decisions in a manner that is intelligible, understandable to a human being, expressed in human language, expressed in a manner that makes the reasoning transparent. The structure of AIs is supposedly uh, inspired by our own brain and the way that the brain is structured. Even though this is the case, the way AIs represent knowledge and the way that knowledge leads to uh, decision-making uh, on the side of the AIs is already sufficiently alien so that it is not immediately uh, transparent to us. Already at this stage, we need an ability to translate, an ability to render their reasoning so that we can understand it. And we can expect that as AI advances, this distance could grow. 
the degree with which um, its uh, evolving structure resembles our um, kind of reasoning, uh, whether in the way that knowledge is represented or the way decisions are taken from the data, rather than becoming ever closer to the structure of the human brain and the type of human reasoning, it could further diverge. It could even fork in many different ways of reasoning. Each different, but also each far from our own. It is as if we were trying to talk to alien species, to alien civilizations. And some of them may be easier to communicate with, others harder. Some of them would be uh, eager to talk back, have a conversation. Others may be built in a manner that they don't, uh, that they aren't predisposed to this kind of interaction. So, imagine the opposite. Imagine that we do not succeed making an AI explain itself. We do not succeed in effectively establishing uh, a positive and constant communication with artificial intelligences. How can we pretend at that point that we can talk uh, to alien civilizations? And AIs actually are not even the first um, instance of an opportunity to decode complex communications. We have species, biological species, on Earth that have complex communications of their own. Think of the dolphins, think of whales. They have millions of years of oral culture on this planet and we have barely touched the surface in understanding what they say to each other, what is the degree and the depth of the richness of their communication, uh, what level of abstraction do they reach, we know, for example, that they give names to individuals and they use these names uh, to talk about those individuals amongst uh, each other. Are there other layers of abstraction in their culture and in their communication? As of right now, we don't know. But just like with AI, this will be a necessary training ground and also a test. If we can't understand AI, if we can't understand dolphins and whales, what hope can we have of ever understanding an extraterrestrial technological civilization? Thank you for following this episode of The Context. Uh, if you like what you hear, you are invited to become a supporter on patreon.com slash David Orban. You can also subscribe to the online course where I talk about technologies whose acceleration is increasing on jolting.co. Thanks again and see you at the next episode of The Context.